hey guys welcome back to the channel so let's do a little collective general reading whatever comes out it's raining too so i feel like something is like a, a cleansing that you're going through right now purging i don't know if you guys can hear the rain Something about the way you're expressing yourself, your state of expression that you're coming into. Angel number 12, 12. Being persistent with like your efforts is going to bring some type of good fortune. 13, 31. So it's good fortune. So your persistence is bringing you this good fortune. Something that's going to be a comforting change for you, a major change. Something about your individuality coming to the forefront or it stands out. <clears throat> you could be coming into your own independence too. Like I really get that heavy for somebody. Like um, if you're a man or a woman, but like say you were, uh, it's almost like coming into your own, coming into like womanhood, coming into manhood. Cycles, 1919, something about the number 19 could be significant. Somebody could be born on the 19th, 19 days. But there are cycles, changes, something about the cycles that's changing in your life, some type of powerful influence you have. Mm -mm, baby, we got monetary spirits. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Source protects us from all monetary spirits and evil eye. May you shut that door. Thank you so much, Source, for protecting our energies and our auras. Close the doors to anything that is not supposed to be here, anything that is not of you. Any monetary spirits have gone blind, okay? They have been blocked from this reading, from my energy, from this timeline, period, from this motherfucking dimension, I say. So yeah, something about your belief system, something about the way, something about you, that you believe, excuse me, your faith, the way that you believe and your dreams, yourself, just your belief system in, in general, unique, it says here, go after what you want. And I promise you, it's this, it's like a little, um, what is it, like a fruit fly or something or something like that or a gnat. So somebody's like, you can have people that are like watching you go towards some type of fortune, some type of change. I heard fortune favors the bold. So be bold. Like, it don't really, don't let it, I feel like you could even start feeling like nervous because you know a lot of people are watching you or you know a lot of people, or this is how it's going to start feeling. Maybe you're feeling under pressure too. But it says destiny. So something is a part of your destiny. I'm literally getting like just, everything is just happening so perfectly divinely orchestrated with talents and gifts here, appreciation and gratitude. And you're somebody that I feel like who stays in this energy of gratitude with zero, ten, um, something about the 10th could be significant. The first, somebody could be born on the 10th or the first, but look, take an initiative, whoever you are. I feel like right now is the time to be bold in your endeavors to take initiative because fortune favors the bold. I don't know why I like these lights are flickering. I thought I was tweaking because it is raining. So I don't know. Two, 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 I am balanced. So yeah, you can see the angel number two, two, two and whoever you are, you're a leader. Your leadership skills and you're evolving master number 55 so yeah come on now we pull a master number um the number 55 could be significant to somebody you could be the age 55 but i feel like you're ascending into a higher timeline a higher vibration and i feel like a lot of who you are these leaderships qualities how balanced you are i heard a pioneer like you're pioneering through something or you're doing something that's changing some type of cycle that you were in or it's showing like your best qualities as you take initiative towards what you want something about your belief system being very unique or you being very unique in your talents your gifts and the way you show up in the world the way you express yourself oh, keep showing this gratitude so using my um amethyst to charge this deck this is a new deck it's a fairy deck guys y'all know come on now i love me a good fairy <laughs> okay. i heard something about somebody being like a sweetheart because the card said compassionate too so i just got a very sweetheart like energy um don't please never be afraid to show who you truly are to try to like sometimes you may feel like you have to protect yourself or put on like this front or like this other hard body energy the devil yeah you could be a capricorn or you feel like you know but be who you are baby if you more so an angel than a devil be be a if you more so a devil than an angel but just be who you are be authentically yourself I, come on sage you're gonna have to come on now give me cut me some slack please you don't never do this when i'm not recording and then she goes over to her food bowl and just starts eating because she knows she wrong like, please chill, girl. 
she's such a smart cat. That's the craziest part. So yeah, we got the devil here. So whoever you are, um, getting out of these toxic energies or, or her environments, you're being moved. Oh, thank you, Source, because it's crazy. I almost forgot you guys. Source already gave me a word. Um, this could be for somebody. I'm not sure if this is like the crown of the reading or crowning the reading, but it was survivor's guilt. You're somebody who I feel off bat. You're going to, again, that pioneer energy, you're making it out of something um, that many people before you may have tried to crawl their way out of or, or go towards. And, and maybe in their own way, they did make things shape for themselves. But I'm feeling like something about the path that you're going to be taking in some type of road, <clears throat> Ten of Cups. It's almost like survivor's guilt because you're going to be so, 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 like, so fulfilled. It's everything. Come on, now look how she's looking on this card. Beautiful. She's a mermaid. I'm getting Piscean energy. Capricorn too. Not just because, but no, I say that because I believe the, I, I believe the real mermaids of the Zodiac is Capricorn and Pisces. Pisces because obviously, come on, Pisces is a, that's, that's a mermaid, but, um, Capricorns too. That's the seagull. And in the original, what is it called? I don't know. The symbol for, I learned the original. That's what I heard. I'm not sure how true it is. Symbol for Capricorn was like a unicorn or something like that. So you learn something new every day. So, but not just that too, but we're the seagull. So, you know, um, there's a very mermaid-esque energy to that. But anyways, let me not get off track. So either way I go. You're going to have, like, maybe you've been feeling some type of survivor's guilt because you're going to make it out of some type of <laughs> somebody. I don't know where you came from. Um, You could have came from very hard times where a lot of people... I saw on one card, it was, like, a lot of... Uh, it was a graveyard with a lot of tombstones. So it was given, like, again, like... I heard trenches. I didn't want to say that word so bad because that word irritates me so bad because so many people be swearing they come from the trenches. But that's the word I heard. So somebody could have really come from, like, the trenches or, like, you come from... You could have struggled more than other people, or maybe you didn't know you were struggling like that at one point because you were a child or something like that. But something about just the way, maybe for yourself in your own life that you struggle, you know your story, but Page of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, I promise you, yeah, come on now. People going to be watching as you go through this like energy of e evolution and evolving to the next stage. And I feel like it's certain people and things that you're going to be leaving behind because it's inevitable. Come on now, when, you, when you're rising to a new level, you cannot have those same training wheels on that you had when you started, right? Because sometimes you, it's like you don't need it anymore. I needed it at one point, certain crutches, certain things, certain people, certain environments. So I'm here and let the chips fall where they may. Don't really try to hold things up like because you're going somewhere where I do feel like it's going to kind of be like you can't. Everybody can't come. You can't bring everybody with you. Pay the source. People watching. Sage. Please. Please. Pay the source. And it almost looks like somebody's listening on this card, but obviously this is a spying card too, or just watching. People watching you go towards this Ten of Pentacles, whoever you are. We saw that Ten of Cups. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Six of Wands, Survivor's Guild. I, I know what I'm, I felt. I know what I channeled. And you see how it's like a banner here. I promise you. It's like people are going to be feeling like, how, when? Like, and you deserve it. I heard people feel like you deserve it. So don't think that everybody that's watching you or everybody that's like, yes. And I feel like for whoever you are, you could be leaving like family behind, friends behind a certain job that you were used to and that, you know, you just built bonds with certain people. Don't feel bad, baby. I mean, it's normal to feel bad. You can feel bad. I'll say that. You can have compassion. In the heart, you know, you know, you know, but baby, where you going? It's right here. So it's giving me like, it's just giving me, it's your time. And this is cycles, 10, 10. That's cycles. That's the angel number of, New, like closing out one cycle and going to the next with the six of wands. And I felt like gradually you were building your way to this point. But it's giving me with the page of swords and the ten of pentacles and the six of wands. It's like a lot of attention. Remember I was saying that you could feel like a lot of eyes are on you. That's exactly what this card means. Six of wands is a card of a lot of attention on you. Public recognition, possibly even online. See how this one person is on the horse. Everybody else is like crowding around this person like watching like, ah. Like, damn, what's the commotion about? You're the commotion. You're the good news. And I promise you, I feel like people are so intrigued by you, especially the way you look. Somebody's favorite colors could be purple or green, or somebody could have purple and green in their hair. I know that's I know that's right, whoever you are. I know you a bad man. <laughs> but, and I'm feeling like just be authentically yourself. Like, even if, 
it don't matter. You could be people can think you're corny. People can think you're lame. People can think you're like, oh, she's so weird. She's so odd. He sold this. He sold that. He tries too hard. She don't do enough. Be yourself, cause it's working for you. It worked for me. It worked. It worked for me. Hey, <laughs> this takes a lot. <laughs> y'all, I really got that from that Whitney Houston and Bobby video. Y'all love me some them, cause baby, they was minus the crack, but. Wait, no, she said, say, Whitney would have treated me right then. Because let me not, for the, the ghost of Whitney come up in here. Because she, what she say, crack is whack. Okay, boo. I wasn't even there. Disrespect her like that. Six of Wands, two of Cups, though. So, you could be coming into some type of relationship. Or you could be in one already where people are going to be watching you and your partner upgrade some type of light. It's giving, like, spiritual union. Lifestyle. Hmm. Breaking through the barriers. Excuse me. Given the energy of like again balance and um you learning to trust because it says on this two 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 card trust the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you nourishing them with your words feelings and actions not just wishing for something but actively being in that energy of success actively being in the energy of wealth if you want abundance if you say I'm gonna be a millionaire then why are you still acting like somebody who is broke why are you still professing oh I don't have money I don't have why are you still speaking that even if you're joking you know you have to get in the energy of who you will be the energy you wish to be right whatever it is whatever you're trying to manifest be that energy align with that timeline I just made me think of that Monte Carlo movie. So Monte Carlo could be significant. I might be taking a trip to Monte Carlo. To Selena Gomez. I heard doppelganger. So something about a doppelganger could be significant. But yeah, this good fortune is coming towards somebody. You could be somebody who gives very good advice. Something about your individuality too. But it says have faith in your skills and talents as they are a tool that can provide you with a bright future. A piece of good advice, a moment of enlightenment, or a confident me message is on its way. Everything will work out in your favor. You to say it might... You know, it's, it's, it's going to work out in your favor. It's definite. I'm hearing it's inevitable. And it's, this blessing that's coming towards you, it's irrevocable. Can't nobody take this from you. So don't worry. Can't nobody take this from you. And I feel like you're somebody, too, who your nervous system sometimes, or maybe you're used to things just not falling through, or you're used to people trying to, like, sabotage. Because I was hearing saboteur or sabotaging vibe earlier, and it's like you're, you could be somebody who's, like, your root shocker, first of all. That's where it starts at. You need to balance that, but I feel like maybe you've been working on that or something about grounding yourself because I'm getting like heavy on you're you're afraid to almost like have this happy happily ever after because so much dooms doomsday. I don't know if that ain't that a movie. I could be significant. So much like doom and gloom has happened before this to the point where you're afraid to just finally let your guards down and just be happy and breathe because you feel like something might go wrong. Yeah. Some of you could be walking away from, again, the energy of lack. I'm not making this up. You guys are leaving behind lack. What did I say? Lack mentality. This is what source is helping you to walk away from. And so go towards eight of wands, forward movement, speed, things progressing in your life. Because you need to, this is that five of pentacles, eight of cups energy, leaving it. And, and what does she look like? Doom and gloom. Like at one point you were going through this. You were going through, and it's feathers on her. Literally, earth angel energy. I'm getting earth angel energy. Sage, you know what it never was? That's serious. Okay, so Eight of Cups, you guys walking away from this energy of being feeling bruised, battered, beat down, how some people wanted to see you. And some of y'all had to go through that. Because I was even reading a post today about humiliation rituals and uh, cycles and stages in your life that you have to go, to go through to get to the prize and the promised land, the promise, right? It happens. It's the price to be paid for the promise. It's the debt to be paid. But understand that it, and I'm even hearing source say the debt has already been paid. If you if you feel me. Now, y'all don't just say you believe what you want to believe, but if you feel me on Yeshua on that one, because the price has already been paid, baby. But yes, you have to go through certain cycles and things in your life to help to mold you, to help to give you thick skin. Hard body, right? Five of Pentacles is the energy of lack. You're leaving that behind. With the Eight of Cups, that's walking away. Walking away from you being this earth angel and you having to be the sacrifice. Source says no longer will my earth angels and my chosen ones be the sacrifice. Now I'm taking you to the promised land because you've gone through that. You are walking away from this energy of lack. Some people are going to be literally watching you go into an energy of wealth. Double what you had before. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. I heard lights on. Lights on. Somebody may have like automatic lights or uh, something like that, but it's just given like how it's going to shift. Like almost as like people are going to think like one minute the lights went off and, then, and the lights came back on and it was a, like, okay. So imagine you see a room looking one way 
And then when you come in, the room looks an entirely... Okay, no, excuse me. Imagine a room looking one way, and you turn the lights off, and you turn it back on, and it looks an entirely different way. It was it had nothing in it before. It was, like, barren. It's like, damn, dude, you ain't got no furniture up in here. Like, it's a little, like... All of a sudden, it turned the lights back on, and I'm even getting the room size looks bigger, and it looks like, damn, how did you fit this much stuff in here? Is this the same place? That's how people are going to be looking at this transformation that happens for you. Like, how did you even do this with what you had? How did you even, like... I'm getting, like, some of the people that were... Mm, we gonna see that we're seeing you go through this transformation. Am I gonna take these? Yeah, I'm gonna take them. Some of these people that were watching you go through this transformation, yeah, yeah. With this Eight of Cups, watching you, um, your wings get torn off your back, and some of these people who, with their own hands, were tearing, trying to tear your wings off your back, is to stop your flight. I'm here to stop your forward movement, but it will not work because how can you stop an Earth Angel from flying? So. And I feel like it's going to have, let me see. Let's see. Cause it's, it's going to have some type of, I don't think this is you guys. I think this is somebody else. So some type of queen of swords energy here is going to be upset that you're going through some type of change. With the Queen of Swords here coming out with this devil energy, first of all. And this could be somebody, again, who had a lot to say about you guys transforming with the Three of Swords. Like, somebody's going to be, like, almost heartbroken to see that you're leveling up. Because some form of strength that you're showing through some type of change that you went through. Again, because this person, last time they saw you, this this was you. Something about the, somebody could have, like, um, silver hair, white hair. Come on, Sage, please. Baby. And I promise you, your strength. And it's almost like this person is going to see you, almost like you're walking with the lion. I'm hearing Daniels in the lion den. And that's how protected you are. This is what this person is going to be realizing because this could have been somebody for some of you. They're in this five of cups energy. Like nothing but heartache and like brokenness and sorrow on this person's soul because of, I feel like for whatever reason, like this person, they were in like a devil-like energy when it came to you. And it's something about the way you're prevailing. I'm here and pushing through. Um, you see her wings are also made of like leaves. You could have healed yourself. Ace of swords. You could have healed yourself with like natural remedies. Or you, you are like a natural, like it's, um, I heard a, a, a herbal witch or a nature witch or something like that. The magician. I can't make it up. Y'all, I cut the... <laughs> I can't make it up as I was feeling that. Like you, somebody works with like the elements. Obviously, all witches work with the elements. But like, I'm getting like you are very like... You don't do things so you're very um wise too and you don't come from a malicious malicious place and whoever this person was i don't i don't really get a good vibe from them but the ace of swords come on now you got gemini energy out here we got leo heavy capricorn with this devil showing twice um don't feel guilty though for being in this energy of strength and persevering because I do feel like whatever plot and plan that somebody tried to come up against you with, with this three of pentacles, it got them nowhere. Four of pentacles. It got them nowhere. And I feel like this person was so, they were holding themselves back because they were like, uh, it could have been a group of three other people. Three to four I'm hearing. Damn. I heard somebody, one person had, listen to what I'm hearing. For, and it's not for everybody. One person had seven people, up to seven people um, working against them. I don't know who you are, but baby, you, you was out here stepping on necks because people out here was pissed. And this is how they were like, look, uh, you, I'm hearing this. Bitch. Like, man, you, be, you had people out here pissed with the seven of wands. You're protected. <laughs> and that's why they mad. Because some of y'all have some ancestors that be on some real life, like, what, open a can of whoop-ass and shit? Karate shit. Like, these people might know martial arts, all type of shit. They don't know who y'all ancestors is. Are you out here playing with people and you do not know who people ancestors is? You wonder why in the middle of the night somebody going upside your head in the spirit. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Anyways, so the number 44 could be significant. I feel like some of you are just now in this transition stage where you're just letting stories... Ooh. I'm hearing slow and steady wins the race. Well, you're just letting source take you straight to this next phase. I heard something is going to go up in flames for these karmics, y'all. 
Ten of Wands. I heard some go go up in flames for these karmic y'all. Before I said that, I said that before this card came out. I want y'all to take a good look at this card. Do you see what this she's doing on this card? Somebody was literally trying to do spell work on y'all. As I said, go up in flames on these karmics. What's around the spell work? Flames, candles, and that same energy they were sending out. Those uh, candle magic. I keep picking up on candle magic and moon rituals or moon magic that somebody was trying to use against the collective. Somebody could have been doing like runes or like drawing. So somebody's really into astrology too because somebody's like, this is an astrology. Uh, she's drawing like, um, what is that called? Like the fucking constellations or some shit. So somebody could be really into that type of shit. And this person could have like, this person be on some Indiana Jones shit. This person be, who, who you think you are? And this person is literally going to go up in flames. Like this person was really trying to conjure some shit up against y'all. As I said, that was the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of exhaustion, being burdened, feeling weighed down by responsibilities and feeling like just like life is so heavy and the world is on your shoulders. And this is what these people are going through as you're going to be in a very balanced and healed energy. And somebody could have been trying to attack your throat chakra, attack your speaking, Ace of Cups. Check your love life. But it wasn't stopping nothing. Like this person is, I'm here making fools of themselves. Queen of Pentacles. You could be an herb sign. Very grounded. Somebody has a past life in Egypt. And this is the first time I'm using this deck. And I love this deck. And I feel like somebody could have even tried to do something to you in a past life. And now it's time for you to get some type of reward. Six of Swords as you're moving into calmer waters. Like people are going to be watching this Queen of Pentacles. Move into calmer waters. What's going on? What is going on? So somebody from the past with the Six of Cups here is going to want to come back around. Possibly towards this Queen of Pentacles. It's giving rushing in. Like, be careful of people trying to come in and, like, uh, love bomb you. Or, like, judgment. A Libra could be significant. And I'm also feeling like people from the past are going to feel like some type of change, baby. Come on, tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Cups, some type of change. I can't make it up. I can't. What did I say? And Queen of Pentacles, you ain't got to be a Capricorn. But remember I was seeing the Capricorns, I feel like they are the mermaids. And look who came out again. The mermaid, Ace of Cups. So whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, which I'm assuming is my collective, whether you're a Capricorn or not. Um, you could be an Earth sign, you don't have to be. You get in some form of like justice baby because i feel like judgment has been called in your life like source i feel like and again it may have taken some time because i was hearing like source said we had to go through the files we went through the papers and stuff you know how when um they're doing an investigation a thorough investigation like obviously source sees everything but and it's given like look the good guy like wins or the hero here and you see how the villains are looking like wow we've been caught again it's giving princess tiana um when, um all of those voodoo spirits and stuff started coming after that man Cause he was reckoning everybody else's soul. He was selling everybody else's soul to the highest being. And like, uh, you ain't think them spirits are gonna turn on you? That's what I don't understand about people like that. But anyways, this Queen of Pentacles is going straight towards the Ace of Cups, and this could come in the form of new love, something that has, it's gonna grow in your heart and just overflow. Whether it's a person, whether it's just something that you're going towards, it's gonna bring a lot of love in for you. A lot of people that's gonna be doting on you. Cause this Queen of Pentacles is somebody who, in the past life, I feel like too, you were an Egyptian queen or you were some type of queen, whether it was in Egypt or not. You, have, you are somebody who a lot of people are crushing on, or a lot of people having a wish list. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Literally with the Six of Cups. And a lot of these people from your past, they're honestly under judgment. They've been caught in their tracks. And they're going to feel like some type of change is happening for you. It's coming in like lightning fast. Like look on this card. Lightning fast. And it's giving portal energy. It's time. And I'm, I'm feeling like deep in my soul, Six of Swords again. Source is guiding you to a place unknown, a place that other feet haven't traveled. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander When my faith will be made stronger In the presence of my Savior Hey, that's one of my favorite church songs or gospel songs or praise and worship, whatever you want to call it, but because I get into the spirit right now. It's a wise baby. Because you are somebody who gives reference to the Lord, to the most high, to Yahweh, Yeshua, whatever, wherever you are, whoever you're in front of, you're authentically you. You don't care about what other people have to say. I'm hearing Jesus free. So people may call you like hermit, like you are very learned, you're very wise. Ugwe? Professor Ugwe? What was his name? 
Master Uwe, I'm talking about Professor. Professor X? Master Uwe, you're master, master number 55, Virgo energy. So whoever you are, Ace of Wands, you're coming into some type of very passionate new beginning, enlightenment. You're very learned. You're very wise. You're not somebody who just got to the status overnight. It took time. It took studying. I'm hearing it took precision. It took resilience. It took that energy of slow and steady wins the race where you had to pace yourself and you wasn't focused on nobody else. You kept your eyes on the prize. And this is why you're being rewarded with this Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups energy. Moving forward, not looking to the past. That Six of Cups energy of people from your past may want us to come back around. But you're in this energy of Six of Swords moving forward, trusting your guidance. And you could be going on some type of voyage with, with some type of, I don't know, with your, with your spirit guys I heard. I heard somebody, I heard with your homies. Somebody could be like going on some type of trip or change with a homie or a friend, a lover. Or some of y'all, the hermit energy, you could be going at it alone. With the hierophant, you could be going. You are so spiritually guided. And you are somebody who walks so, look, come on now. You are old soul, man or woman. <laughs> people could see you as somebody who's so like youthful but you're so and that catches them off guard too two of wands that catches them off guard because it's almost like you could show up in one energy sometimes and then it's like other times you could show up as like very mastery very learned very wise very ancient soul but you know kind of when to like you know how to roll like you know how to kind of be a chameleon you know when to show up and what energy not saying it's like a fake thing no but it's like uh, you're always who you are but it's like you know when you could when it's time to get serious when it's time to put on your um hierophant energy more than like your silly side or something like that i don't know how to really word it right you know just you just know when to step in certain energies four of wands you're adaptable too so somebody could be getting a new place very soon with the world card. Yeah, I'm even getting online. Something about online, people watching you online. As you transform, it's given the Winx Club when they go through their transformation. <laughs> Somebody's like a fairy here, like literally. Um, so as you go through some type of transformation with this world energy, somebody could be traveling the world or, or relocating or with the Four of Wands, something here about um, this is a like world wide web card too the uh, world card so again a lot of eyes on you right again with this hierophant energy it's like people see you as somebody who's very wise like you almost like people come to you you see how both of these people are look oh not really well we know i'm only seeing uh master Ugre because come on i'm from kung fu panda that looks like him even though that's not the exact person but he got the goddamn uh he he got the rod in his hand he got the he got the you know what I'm saying? it kind of looks like that so somebody here with this hierophant energy it's like you could be a, a mentor yourself, a coach, a guide, an advisor, a teacher. The Four of Wands, though, it's time for you to go through this transformation. Again, with the Winx Club, somebody could really like to watch that. You could watch like the one on Netflix, the, um, what is it called? The, I forgot what that version is called. Like the live version or something like that. Is, that. is that what it's called? It was actually good. I liked it. I kind of cried when Bloom went through her transformation. <laughs> I said, how empowering. Death, you're going through a transformation. I can't make it up. It's a rebirth. I can't. And then it's just like she was a fire fairy. So somebody could be a fire sign or something about the way that you embody this fire energy. Maybe you're not a fire sign, but you embody page of wands. You and listen to y'all again. When I said somebody's favorite cook could be purple or green, but whoever you are, this is just confirmation again. After I said that, this is a fire energy. Death is Scorpio. So some type of transformation that you're going through. And I feel like um, so many stops along the way, you could have felt like something was like prolonged or you felt like you were supposed to be on a certain timeline already. Protection. It was divine protection. I promise you it was divine protection. Like you're going to see how source was protecting you in little ways along the way. Especially from jealous people who could have even um, wanted to keep you stuck mentally. The star, but your light shines so bright. To the point where it was blinding to these people's demons as well. To the point where you're going to ascend so much and your light is going to be, again, it's heightening. Everything is about you and your vibration is becoming, I'm hearing like everything. Again, like that room I was talking about, how it looked small at first. It looked like it wasn't no furniture. Then all of a sudden it's like a mansion. How did you, this small little shack of a room and no furniture in it. Now we got all this, it's, it's chandeliers up in here. It's pianos in it. It's like people are going to be like, what the, how, when? 
but it's because of your light. It's because of the way you had faith. It's because of this, this is a wish fulfillment card, your healing energy. You straddled the line of the spiritual and the physical and you knew when to navigate both worlds. You danced in between the worlds as this fairy. Man or woman though, you know, don't take too much to heart, but you're just a bright light. Meant to be seen. Queen of Wands energy, like very bright, very attractive, very beautiful. And again, you went through those initiations, those stages to give you thick skin, to help you to heal yourself. Mastery. And people who may have wanted to put this light out is, uh, thank you, Source, for helping me to remember that. Um, it's like you're going to be ascending so much to the point where your light is going to just be blinding to them to the point where they fall off. It's giving, I'm hearing parasites too, where they have nothing to feed on because guess what? You're going to be starving them. And some of y'all are changing your diets, what you what you watch, Ace of Swords, what you feed, in, feed into, drama, negativity, what you listen to on a daily basis, who you let in your energy because it, it's that deep. How, what you're feeding your mental discipline, I'm hearing something about that is significant too. And again, patience, because slow and steady rends the race. Because I'm going to tell y'all why I said that. Knight of Pentacles. Because I was asking, okay, so what comes next? And source saying, patience, as I lead you towards that. The chariot. And then it's going to take off. So it's like lights off, lights on. And we off. So the next thing you know, people going to open their eyes. You you in the air. Like, how? When, is, when did this happen? When was takeoff? Like, I'm hearing, like, don't really tell people too much of what you got going on. Somebody could even be wanting to come towards some of you guys, too. Watch out for deception, though. <laughs> Watch out, because I feel like something is going to be in the palm of your hands, too. I heard some type of truth is going to fall into your hands. Pay attention. So some type of truth and clarity, clarity excuse me, is coming your way, too. I should have took that chariot card, because that's a very that's a vehicle card, a speed card. So some type of speed is peaking up. This is the slowest moving card in the deck, the Knight of Pentacles. But that chariot was out here showing us the source is going to speed the process up for you guys. But trust in the divine timing justice trust in the divine timing as this justice shows up if there's anything about like a court case or something like that it will go into your favor because i feel like also you guys and it's you're getting justice because i feel like you're somebody who too many people again thank you source queen of wands at the bottom of the deck and i'm glad that source put that there so it's confirming that thought um you had people that always coming in your energy that some of y'all they just wanted to have fun with you and i what by fun i mean sex and not just like you know but yeah sex i'm not even gonna sugarcoat it sex baby sex you're somebody who's very attractive and not just like that but it's like your your aura everything draws people in to the point where i feel like you're somebody who a lot of people may see as a temptation or a very hard like to like resist but you could be somebody who just looks good but you don't really want that like you're not really looking for that or maybe i don't know but i feel like you were being protected seven of wands from these type of energies with the knight of wands you were being protected from them type of energies and many people could even saw you as like queen of wands energy because you look good you like may care about how you dress you know you can you could dress it up for them like right and you know how some people may think oh she promiscuous she this or she that whole time it's just really underneath that they're just hating on you and you could have had a lot of people too. I saw five of swords that were hating on you. People coming towards you for promiscuous reasons. The source was just blocking all of this. Your guys were blocking all of this. And you were wondering why certain people, friends and lovers and potential secret admirers or it just wouldn't work out. It was divine protection as you are this queen of wands. And again, like you could have been somebody who was judged at one point and people just misjudged you. Because I did see that judgment card. Literally, two of swords, two of pentacles. People were very indecisive about you. At one point, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Almost as if, like, you weren't the prize. Crazy, right? Not a source. Not these people are going to be in their head. Because guess what? You, I'm hearing you were the treasure all alone. The spotlight is going to be put on somebody too. And it's almost giving like, look on this page. Because it looks like they're waiting on something to happen. Like all these people have like an evil smirk. And she's like covering her mouth like she's laughing. It's like people thought that they were finna rip the her uh, the rug from beneath your feet or something like that at one point. Because you see how the spotlight is shining on one person. It's almost as if he doesn't even know what's going on. All these files are around. So people could have been trying to dig information on you. Files. Do something behind. It's giving like behind the scenes type of energy. Cowardly energy. But it's being exposed with the sun energy. And it's giving Phoenix. The way that you're coming through, I'm telling you, you're nothing but a light. And this is why these people are going to have to shut up because the divine is going to come in. I promise you, it's giving like, who was that person who flew too close to the sun? 
forgot his name, but that story of these people like feeling themselves too much because um, they weren't taking the warnings. Like I remember, I forgot who what story that was, but his father kept telling him. Um, let me see. Something about a rainbow is significant. You're going to see a rainbow for confirmation. So, bear with me. Icarus. I was going to say Perseus. And I was like, no, that don't sound so much like... I'll get some stuff on in a minute. I'm human, baby. I'll be messing up. But two of cups, the empress, baby. So, yeah. Somebody, they flew too close to the motherfucking sun. You are the sun. You are impenetrable <laughs> to light. Um, You are the mother of dragons. Somebody could be born through the year of the dragon because that keeps coming up because I keep hearing stuff about dragons, literally. Um, But it's giving, um, what is that? Khaleesi? Targaryen? Phoenix Energy? Jean Grey? You are just a light. What was the, what was the energy that came in? What was it? the energy the energy of the phoenix but it was like a, a cosmic event that came in that happened on one of the x-men movies too with gene gray so something about a cosmic event but whoever this empress is i feel like you're the one who a lot of people have their eyes on very very magical very mystical you get people to believe in themselves believe in because just based off the way you show up as yourself authentically it's like you're like this you have this childlike wonder and youthfulness within you your star-like qualities and amazing wonder like just you have this wonder in your eyes or just the way you go out and pursue your dreams and it has other people being like damn maybe i could do the same thing and maybe and do you understand how much of a high vibration and blessing that is to be able to be a light like that in other people's lives the color orange yellow or pink could be significant but you're a light. You're a light. And I feel like you're going to have many new opportunities and options available to you soon. But with the moon card here, for some of you, you may not see this coming. It could be a little hidden. Because everything ain't meant for you to see. And you see how these are all celestial events. The sun, the moon, and the damn star. So let it happen. Something is aligning. Oh, aligning. Somebody's name could be Elena. Somebody could like to watch the Vampire Diaries. But something is aligning for you. And it could be this Two of Cups. For some of y'all, a union. Or just this total wish fulfillment. A lot of illumination. You are, even the, the moon is very illuminating. You are going through phases, cycles. Is it not giving cycles? Is it not? The stars come out at night with the moon. But then you got the sun. So I don't know why it's giving like eclipse too. What about the eclipse energy? Shifted this energy in for you and helped this to come in. You're going to be getting some form of good news or something that you're going to hear is going to be very exciting for you as well. I'm here learn raising your vibration. Yeah, okay. I'll take those. We got surprise and fast changes. So many of you are going to be going through some speedy changes. And this is what you pray for. She has a scepter in her hand. Very royal energy, whoever you are. Spiritual royalty. And this is why this goes to you. So if people are questioning why it goes to you and why you. Because take it up with the most high. What the fuck you talking about? Excuse me. Because <laughs> this transformation that you're going through, baby. People, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like they can no longer doubt the favor of source on your life. They can no longer doubt you are who you say you are. That you really like that. Stay humble, of course, but you know what I'm saying? But it's almost given like you got every right to talk to your shit with that six of wands energy. But you ain't gonna have to. Because people going I'm hearing the proof is in the pudding. The way you alchemize every situation, you turn nothing to something. You evolved, you loved yourself, and you stayed in this empress energy, and you didn't worry when people thought that you were gonna crash out, you were gonna stay in that energy of the eight of cups while they were trying to tear your wings off and every single card that's come out thus far. You got your wings back, baby. Here, they, you never lost them. These people just saw it. it was an illusion. A source let them think that. As you are this phoenix, you're immortal. So how could you ever lose? How could you think that you could destroy or stop a phoenix? How could you think you could stop? How, people were trying to put out a light and it wasn't even a regular light, nigga. This is phoenix light. This is phoenix fire. That's immortal energy right there. You can't even touch it. You can't even come near it. So anything that these karmics were thinking they were doing to you and your energies and behind your backs and people who really truly possibly just didn't see the best in you... They're going to be forced to see because it's nothing but illumination out here.
Because the, the moon card here, too, is giving me at one point, yeah, with duality at the bottom of the deck, you have, like I said, you have two different sides and you know when to straddle that line. Devil, angel energy, angel, devil, whatever the case may be. You are very, you understand the energy of duality. You understand the dual nature of other people, too. You understand how sometimes people can be there one minute and flip on you the next. But again, your own qualities with the moon card was hidden from certain people for a very good reason. Very good reason. So that you may see how these people would treat you had they not known who you truly were. Do not lose your vigilance, it says here, because you are moving up to a new stage, to a new... I'm hearing, like, you know, the energy of when you make more, you are in a new tax bracket to the point where you have to move out of your hood or you have to move to a new... You know what I'm saying? You could be meeting somebody who's very loyal or loyalty with loyalty here. Um, but it's given like a, a move, like you were moving up on a, on a her tax bracket, her social status too. And it's loyalty energy just flipped back out. So it's like you, it's just, you're being pushed out of your comfort zone too. That's why I was hearing survivor's guilt to the point where you could be leaving people who you grew in lack with at one point, who you were comfortable with at one point, who you stayed down with at one point. But it's giving it's confirmation. You have to let that go. And I'm hearing like, you're going to feel lighter. You're going to feel freer. You're going to have bodily changes, mental changes. I promise you. Because a lot of people are energetically siphoning you off of you. Because guess what? You were the light the entire time. Why these people low-key act like they didn't see that you were the light? I don't know why I'm getting 100% for many of you. Like I said, your qualities were hidden. Like many people knew it was something different about you. They may not have been able to quite put their finger on just how extraordinary and just how big your purpose or just how different you are or rare that you were or whatever the case may be but these people knew all along that it was just something about you and they didn't listen to their intuition right when some people felt that maybe i should treat this person different maybe i should give them a chance maybe i should be loyal to this person and they did the exact opposite dual nature of people and these same people look exhausted you could they i'm hearing dear lord you know i'm tired that zendaya song from euphoria so something about somebody's father, somebody could have watched their parents go through a, something about drugs, somebody watched their family or a family member go through like hard drugs or something like that. Cause then I, I did channel that Whitney energy too. So, you know, everything is kind of only take what resonates. It's not for everybody, but it's just like somebody you've watched a lot in life and your soul, your spirit was tired and source got you money matters is about to be changing. What did I say in the beginning? Your self-expression, something about the way you express yourself. And this could be, this could be what's creating some type of change. I started speaking my mind and triple my views. Okay. Foresight. Somebody could be, you have a gift of foresight. You could be somebody who, maybe you're a reader on YouTube. Maybe you're a prophet. Maybe you just see things before they happen and the source is leading you towards your abundance. And it's going to ensure some type of wealth. Hey, stop it. You say, hey, stop that. Stop that. Kevin Hart. You say, hey. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, something about your your money, your finances. Somebody could need to invest wisely right now. Like, really saving your money as you move up. Like, don't try to keep up with the Joneses, but really invest in your future because it's going to lead you towards some deeper success. And I'm hearing you're going to float. You're not going to sink. You're going to float. Sink or swim. Fertility. You're very fertile with new life, the egg here. And guess who's leading you towards this? Your guardian angel. Your ancestors, your guys, money tree. Somebody may need to get a money tree or a money plant. I'm here. You're finding new ways to bring revenue, re uh, finances in your life. Perfect fit. And I promise you something that you're walking into is going to be perfectly fit for you because it has been ordained and it has been written in your blue, uh, your blueprint, your contract. So I'm telling you, somebody's walking into some type of level of wealth. Like I'm hearing like people are going to be in awe with this prosperity that you walk into and it's a helping hand and it's, it's it's supernatural it's not nothing that's i'm hearing like you're going to be doing better than um these people who had a lot to say about this empress and 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 you got supernatural help with this guardian angel and helping hand and this is why it's coming out like this with people who tried to put this earth angel in the cage with limitations here but guess what the bird is outside of the cage because you cannot cage a bird a earth angel I'm hearing that song, Blackbird, Nina Simone. Why you want to fly, Blackbird? You ain't never going to fly. Because the source is speaking today. Why you want to fly, Blackbird? You ain't never going to fly. And she says, uh, no place big enough for holding. All the tears are going to cry. Because your mama's name was lonely. And your daddy's name was pain. And they called you little sorrow.
Cause you'll never love again So why you wanna fly, blackbird? You ain't never gonna fly Don't it speak to you? Cause, and that's from the movie, one of my favorite movies, Beyond the Lights So somebody could be like a rising star You just have a star-like quality in you a, a, Just a light period, whether you are going to fame Or on a whatever level and success for yourself But Again, flexible. You're very flexible. That chameleon energy, very adaptable. But people wanted you to feel like at one point you are never going to fly. You a blackbird. Why you want to fly a blackbird? You come from the same type of limitations and restrictions that I come from. You like me. You a crab in a barrel like me. Who says you get the one? Who get to be the one to make it out to the ocean? Who says, why we got to go to the... Sage, how you knock something over and then get scared at it at the same time? Please. Um, How you get to go to the ocean and why we got to be in the goddamn... Uh, What's that called? Seafood boil. Who says you get to go? Well, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, boo. It looks like the divine has called. <laughs> please, please. Star power. What did I say? Somebody's going into like some type of, you just have star quality, whether you're going into this energy of fame. Um, it doesn't even have to be on a, oh, it's a worldwide, but I did see that world card. Sage, stop it. Um, because of your bright ideas, something that type of visionary energy that you're in or something, something that source put inside your mind. Source gave you the green light on. You got the idea, not everybody else for a reason. So you're going to have to be flexible with the way these changes are coming into your life. But you are, I'm hearing the, you are not the product of your environment, but you are stepping into the spotlight. And many people who are going to be looking at you like you're leaving, like, oh, you're leaving us behind. Like, how you didn't, you only think of yourself and you're, how did you make this happen? And because you got supernatural help on your side. First of all, you got the guardian angels who have lifted every single block that somebody, even, I'm hearing it was never even there. Again, it was some illusions that Source was letting these people think that they were putting over you gift. You are the gift. You are the star power. You're shining. Become an influence of the company and earn fame, popularity. So somebody could be welcoming you into their company because I'm hearing you just, you're going to be just as much of a, a benefit as they're, as, as, it's like giving like, um, every, equal benefits, right? Everybody's going to benefit from it. But it's like somebody wanted to sign you to a record deal because they see your talent the whole time. They benefit, they like, they benefit just as much as you do, but more so like, you're the talent, baby. So at the end of the day, if they coming after you with a deal, understand you're the talent. You're the star. You have the quality that they want. Whether it's a company, a lover, whatever this is you're headed towards, you are the prize. And I promise you, that's the reading, you guys. Remember that you're the prize. It's giving you're the prize with the gift here, perfect fit here. For whatever's coming your way, whether it's a person, whether it's a company that wants to welcome you to their team, I promise you, when you come in, I'm not here and come in cocky like, yeah, I own the place. No, but you hold your head, hell, you hold your head high. Excuse me, because I'm hearing somebody's ancestors say this, baby. You walk in that room and you hold your head head high. You square your shoulders and you walk in authority and you walk in your divinity and you walk in your royalty. You don't come in there like, oh, you know, I don't know if I'm made for this. <laughs> this ain't for me. <laughs> no, because it's going to come like a shift in energy as if I'm hearing your divinity going, like you walk in your divinity already, but sometimes you may be a little timid sometimes or you may feel like imposter syndrome, like you don't really belong or like, because again, I was getting that energy where somebody feels like a lot of people are watching them. You were getting nervous. You were getting like, <sighs> if you don't cut it out, I'm here tighten up because baby, you are the star. <laughs> Whatever you may do, whatever industry you're in, whatever you're feeling led to or whatever doors are opening up for you, you are a perfect. You are the prize. You are the fit. You are the answer they have been looking for. You're the answer. As well as that's the answer that you've been praying for. But baby, you're the answer. that. So it's given like, you know, vice versa. In situations where people in the, back, in the past wanted you to feel like you needed them. Endings. <laughs> you saying, oh, hasta la venga. Oh, yeah. What's this? Um, DS Dealer of Smuttles? Ain't that the day of the dead? So something here, somebody could be going on a getaway, a vacation, traveling, relocating, but it's going to bring endings and new beginnings. And as you branch out into this new beginning, you have courage and you have faith and boldness as you walk with the most high i promise you even if you're going alone you you have the most powerful powerful agent on your team you have the most powerful source on your team who else would you need baby i can't stress that enough because that's a word for somebody like you, you the one that's backing you the most the one that matters the most is the most high 
and you have been call it, c called and chosen for this. Many are called, few are chosen. You have been called and chosen. Okay. Somebody calling me. I hope they don't stop the video. I know for readers, and a different type of irritation that comes over your body when people call when you're doing a reading. I mean, I can't even. Because why are you calling me? Stepping on the illusions that maybe you even put yourselves in or projections. I'm hearing conditioning from childhood that somebody you were conditioned to believe that you were not this star like energy, that you were not this healer. I'm hearing somebody has always been different since childhood. You have been you were blessed by like some type of mystical energy when you were little. That's not for everybody, but you are that's why you are very mystical. You're not like you are not even from this planet. And I know that sounds like so all oh, not from here. No, but I'm getting a very like diamonds. Pressure makes diamonds. People were trying to put you under pressure, put you under time constraints, block you. And they didn't even see that this entire time they were helping you to come into your true form. <laughs> what did I say? You had to go through those humiliation rituals. You had to go through those tests and trials and tribulations because you would not have. You'd have still been the rock. You'd have still been the rock. <laughs> Union. Something about the rock could be significant. The rock, Dwayne, Union, whatever his name, name is. But soul authenticity signature vibration i'm hearing can't nobody can't nobody match this signature essence of yours they can't steal your blueprint because you are the empress it's only one empress in the deck you were blessed by the divine since birth her somebody was born with a veil over their eyes or their face you're a seer your essence cannot be replicated your essence is going to leave a very very deep mark on this world you are needed and that's why you were protected from so many situations because had anything happened to this earth angel before she followed out her purpose no way no way jose <laughs> so with this union somebody could be coming into a divine union soon pleasure where it's gonna be a lot of pleasure baby now it's time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor and to enjoy life because you suffered you paid the problem you i'm hearing uh pay the pay the cost to be the boss James Brown could be significant. You know, James Brown had a very, very bad life too. James Brown went through a lot of struggle, but at the end of the day, what it pay the cost to be the boss. You have to go through those trials. You have to go through those dark stages of feeling abandoned, feeling like you have to go through those dark night of the souls and humiliation rituals, but you have to pay the cost. And now you're going to be in this energy of joyfulness with feminine. You could be the divine feminine I'm talking to here. Again, pressure makes diamonds. What did I say as it was raining? It's a cleansing, it's a purge. It says cleanse, clear, release. Because you're releasing that old dust. As you're, I'm here, I'm seeing the jewelers um, dusting off the diamonds, like when, or whoever, if, if it's the jewelers or the miners or whoever the hell be doing it. And it's going to come into a, a place of like passion, intimacy, sensuality. People are seeing like this drive within you. I feel like you're fiery, fiery, whether you're a fire sign or not. As you're going through this purge, it's like helping to awaken this fire within you because it's now everything that was soot. I'm hearing a lot of soot. It's suck it. Suck it. Y'all, I'm sorry. Somebody used to watch True Blood. <laughs> Where is suck it? But somebody had a lot of soot, though. And like <laughs> murkiness and stuff. Y'all, I'm so goofy. And I love that about myself. But yeah. Something about this purging that you're going through. And don't be, again, don't be afraid to be your authentic self. No matter how silly and goofy. Because you are so protected. That guardian angel came, card came out. Now protection is here. Don't play with your protection. I didn't even see that. Where's my... Where's the, where's the... Where did I put those cards? I don't know. Maybe I'll put it back in the deck. It's not the whole deck, though. Sometimes stuff just be disappearing. Do y'all ever go through that when stuff just disappears? Anyways, y'all are so protected. <laughs> All is well. You are safe. And this is what sources are reminding you guys. Because, again, I was getting that energy of survivor's guilt. Somebody, almost their nervous system has always been on fight or flight. Or you're on go mode and you're just scared to just let your guards down. I'm getting that scene from 
I always get this scene, you guys, from Kill Bill when she's at the end of the movie. She didn't went through all those damn sores and cutting people heads off. Excuse me, confirmation, getting revenge, and maybe in the spirit realm, you've been you've been dishing out karma for some of y'all, especially if you're a Capricorn or Aquarius under this year of Saturn. And um, some of y'all just not even you. It's been your ancestors that has been going back and getting it back in blood. But you are heavily protected. And that's what you. Are, that's all you have to know. So I'm here, and you ain't gotta come. You ain't you, you ain't gotta take too much with you. Um, pack lights uh, on this journey and take your faith. That's about it, baby. Even if it's just your faith, you want to be uh, delivered to the promised land. But you were so protected along the way. And again, you are uh, that scene from Kill Bill. Excuse me, because I lose a train of thought in a minute. Thank you, Source, where she went through all those people for doing what they did to her. Um, they betrayed her. Remember that energy of like I was saying, like it looks like people on this card are almost like they was waiting on somebody's downfall or like waiting on something to happen to somebody. Almost like, and this could have even been people who are pretending to be for you at one point or, and it's going to be like, really jokes on y'all jokes on them. It's beautiful. Please girl, you're going to mess up the camera. Come on stage. Stop it. Get down. Get down. Get down. She'll knock all this over and then go play on her little toy like ain't nothing happen. Every day she reminds me that I don't want kids, for real. It's just a little baby fever sometimes, but please, get real. That's what I tell myself. I say, get real. This girl, please. Like, I'm very maternal and all that good stuff, but with this one... No. She do it. She just Oh. I'm just looking for this card. Where did the card go? It's giving like where did y'all go now? A lot of people that were talking shit. Once like once you come out and you uh, your results, like people gonna be hiding. Again, because like they're gonna be having to eat their words. Hmm, but they're not they don't matter anyway. So it's almost like ugh, turn your back to that. Look what's at the bottom of the deck, present. Because stay in the present moment. It's like, don't even focus on the past or what people did to you. I just wanted to go back to how they were looking on that car. Very guilty-like energy. And again, that Kill Bill energy for the third time. And I'm, <laughs> baby. So yeah, like, she 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 went through that long road. Of, and then she, at the end, got her daughter back. Intuition. So something was leading you towards this place. And she didn't even remember. She didn't know her daughter was alive. So some of y'all may not know how something is going to end up. But it's going to end up so much better than you expect. She just was getting revenge, period. Because first of all, y'all did that to me. And second of all, yes, you killed... <laughs> I thought y'all killed my daughter or something like that. I thought y'all made me have, like, girl, mm -mm, get down. Mm -mm. She's so, so, so stubborn. She's going to do it again. But, yeah, feminine. Look, feminine and masculine. Woo! That's divine feminine, divine masculine. Intuition leading them to each other. And I'm hearing it could have been people trying to keep you away from your masculine or your masculine away from you or some type of union to not come into. It's a divine union. I cannot understand what people do not get Dreams, you and your person could be dreaming of each other as a dream catcher. Somebody was trying to send like negative dreams so that you and your person probably will have conflict or, or, or try to disrupt like your dream state or something like that. Or you and your person are just coming into this energy of following your dreams and manifestations, trusting your intuition. But again, it came after that long road of chaos, turmoil, trials and tribulations. She went through a death and rebirth. Literally, they thought they left her for dead. Kill Bill. Somebody thought they left you for dead. But they didn't know your spirit was a warrior spirit. Beatrix Kiddo. Beatrix Kiddo. Oh, baby. And that's how it is. That's how I feel. Like, these people... And remember I said... Thank you, Source. Catch it. <laughs> remember I said that these people, like, they knew it was something about you. They maybe didn't quite couldn't put their finger on it. Uh, They maybe... Because Source, when he come through with a word, y'all, make me want to shout. Mm, 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 mm. Anyways. So, when Source come through with a word, baby, he gonna come through with a word. And he ain't gonna have stuff. But these people knew who you... They knew who the fuck Beatrice Kiddo was. Are you serious? The Black Mamba. Remember the girl was like, I should have been the motherfucking Black Mamba. Who was that? Um, Vivica Fox? No, you shouldn't, boo. And that's how Source is going to be looking at these people. Like, why her? Why should... And these people could have been people who were called by Source too. But many, many are called. Few are chosen. You are one of the few who has been chosen for this star power, this healing energy, this journey that you and your masculine are going to be going on. And I feel like whoever these people were or this person, a karmic, I don't know why I'm getting like a particular karmic. For some of y'all could have had like a particular karmic that were on y'all trails. But obviously, if you're children of the divine and you're on this type of vibration, you're going to have many karmics. She said, my father had many mansions. Or he said that. 
but you're going to like the kingdom of heaven, baby. And guess what's coming in? Communication from your person. So some of y'all are going to be getting like a text message or some type of, I heard travel. I don't know why I'm hearing travel. Something about somebody's person traveling to them or coming towards you or communicating with you. But again, it's given like, um, when she was at the, cause I still ain't still at the rest of it. The end of the movie, when she didn't cut everybody's heads off, she didn't got her revenge and she was in the bathroom where her daughter was outside watching TV, but she's just in the bathroom giving thanks, giving praise. Like, thank you. I'm, I'm, I don't know if she was thanking God, but she just kept saying, thank you. Thank you. When I say every time I watch that part, something within me just like blooms and just feels so like, cause I can feel it's almost giving like, that was the most feminine I've seen her in the movie. Like a, just a feminine beauty. Like, and she was vulnerable. She was crying and it's giving like, again, like a, a breath of fresh air. What is that? Um, waiting to exhale type of moment. Some of you are going to be traveling soon with explore and innocence, explore your innocence. You are somebody who's seen as very innocent. Very trustworthy. This is why people open up to you. Very unconditioned. Very pure. Then you come from a place where you could have come from where many people have darker mindsets than you or or way of beings and whatever. You know, it's almost giving like the energy where they say like, if you come from love, don't be with nobody who come from a place of like struggle. And I don't really believe that. Now, for some people that may be true, but I do believe some people who come from struggle too can be very, very pure hearted and good people too. But with healing here, um... I do feel like you're healing this energy or just healing yourself altogether, healing any the wound, any wounds and things that you have to past traumas with that Beatrice kiddo energy because you are a warrior, whoever you are. You are, um, then I'll tell y'all she's going to come back. She don't stop. She come back for more, boo. Excuse me. Excuse me. So yeah, whoever you are, you are this warrior energy. I gotta work with what I got right now, you guys. <sighs> and again, work with what you got, okay? Don't try to sit up here and put on a front for anybody else or move at other people's pace of where they think you should be. Like, yes, you could take a constructive criticism, but just move at your own place because I promise you completion with expansion here. You're gonna get where you need to be on your own terms, at your own motion, at your own pace, okay? So don't be afraid to expand. Source is taking you to a, a journey of expansion as you're completing um, this cycle, you're coming to these rewards again, like these endings are going to be happening for you, but it's leading you towards new growth and progress in your life. So be patient. What did I say? Slow and steady. Always runs the race. Somebody could have like choices coming up, a very important choice that you're going to have to make, possibly in love, having to do with like your pleasure or something like that. But yeah, just be careful. Again, stand in the present moment though. That's what's going to bring you some type of joy. Just enjoying life as it is, as it comes, not overthinking nothing. Because again, I feel like some type of change is going to come in very, very fast. And it's about how you adapt to this change. Excuse me, I was Florida water. Florida water. Mm. Okay, let's close out. But I'm not. at the bottom of the deck all right we got open path here somebody could have been uh doing um road openers but again sources just saying like i said all those blocks they're already removed that's why you you were going through this purging energy and this is not going nowhere so just know what's meant for you is going to come at the right time and those before you some of y'all have a father on the other side that has been protecting you possibly like a grandfather energy and a uh, what did I say? Talk less. You're not meant to tell everybody what you got going on right now, your moves that you're making. Because, yes, some people want to know what you're doing before you do it so that they can find ways to try to stop you in your tracks. They can find ways to try to put an end to it. Confinement. And these same people were trying to bind you to where you were, and they're going to be the same ones behind bars, spiritually or physically. And that's what they ask get. Because you were falling apart upon hard times at one point. This is the same place that these people wanted to see you stay. Crabs in a barrel. And now these same people, I'm hearing the roles are going to reverse and flip. Because you look the seer. And you are somebody who could have seen this. You knew all along where you were going to. It's like you literally, it's just like you were waiting to align with that timeline. You were waiting to align with that frequency. From scratch. You started from scratch. You had no problem building something from scratch, even if you had to go through hard times. But guess what? You were never alone. You had like a father for some of you on the other side or like a masculine spirit guy. Even if you've never met him, it was like... He was like a father to you. Could have been a father to you in another life. He just didn't reincarnate with you in this life. Take what resonates. I know everybody don't believe in all that reincarnation shit, but I do. 
And again, many people may not have uh, been able or a grandfather energy. I'm hearing for some of you. Many people don't understand your energy. They don't understand your vibe. They don't understand your belief system. But it's okay. Everybody not meant to understand you. And that's okay. This person could have really liked fish. Somebody's um family member could be a pastor on the other side. I'm hearing. And somebody wanted you to... <laughs> This person, whoever this answer is, they were very adamant about your education. Get am here and get an education. Go to school, girl. I heard go to school or you too smart. Like this person wanted you to utilize your education or something like that. Or, and this person could have even tried to like make you go into, or not make, but like maybe they were like influencing you to kind of like go into some type of line of like ministry or something for some of y'all or for somebody in particular. But I feel like right now you could even be in school learning something new. I feel like whoever the spirit guide and also your family members, you come from a family for some of you, a prayer warriors or prayer warriors. You yourself are a prayer warrior. And I feel like on your endeavors, you had ancestors. That's why that guardian angel and that protection card is coming out here heavy because you have strong ancestors and prayer guys that intercede on your behalf. Natural disaster. And they cut shit off right in the nick of time when people be thinking they finna get over on you or plan and plot on you and get under you and thinking you're naive and thinking they finna use you for your time, your energy, your body. Because again, I saw the energy of temptation. So people coming towards you to have sex with you or coming towards you for miscellaneous reasons or whatever the case may be they're going to start seeing the power the raw power i'm hearing because i'm hearing behold the power of tub the power of yah when moses said that to them people and they were shook in egypt so you could have a again a past life in like um was that egypt? egypt or something like that um and again it's like sources coming through creating like this is giving like tower energy something about floods tsunamis tornadoes or something like that but i'm getting like tower moments too it's almost like they can't avoid the inevitable i'm hearing Somebody's family member could be passing away soon. But this is also going to be a spirit guide for you. But it's given like you were taken out of situations to save you so many times, to protect you so many times. What did I say? Grandpa's lesson. Somebody does have a grandpa on the other side. Spirit speaks. And this is somebody who also, and this is why you're an old soul, man or feminine. And I'm getting like this, this, this father, this grandfather too for some of you. Brown liquor. They could have like, see how's a man on all of these cars? It could have been a man. It's literally nothing but a man on all of these cars. So you had like for some of y'all, it was like a father figure. Um, I promise you he walks with you everywhere you go especially if like he was like a minister himself or he likes he's the one telling you to stop talking so much somebody could be like wanting to get you under the influence of drinking I'm here to try to get you to talk heritage somebody I need to check out your roots your heritage um, with open past and justification here because he's also helping you to open to, to free your path you have a very powerful masculine energy over the other side, I promise you. And even if you haven't met this person, and he he also wants you to get in touch with some of y'all will be y'all have like royalty and your bloodline. And he, I keep hearing check that. He like I heard find out about me, read about me, come find out. I heard come find out about me. Um, genealogy and heritage. With that spirit speaks because you are somebody I'm getting like it's not regular gifts. Many are called, few are chosen. For you to be chosen, you are on another level. You're Except, exceptionally gifted i'm hearing because you are trusted with this gift of sight insight like the other card said foresight actually and um spirit speaking through you you're a channel for the divine are you serious and you have to be a pure energy that innocent energy you can't be a channel for the divine you over here operating in devil-like energy no you can't because it, two energies can't operate in the same place two opposites no you can't it's going to cancel each other out the devil can't do that you know what i'm saying so you are this innocent energy I'm not saying you're innocent you never done things in life you you just so like no but you know what i'm saying your heart your spirit is pure and this is why and many people may not think like many people may look at you and think otherwise who cares but when source sees you this is who source sees and a prayer warrior at that somebody who gives thanks to god to yah Somebody who, who trusts your intuition. And, the, and I'm hearing the um guidance of the most high. Because many people be saying, I believe, I believe. And you know, source will be like, no, nah, don't go down that road. You know what? I believe. I believe I ain't finna listen to that shit. And go right down the damn road that he said. Like, damn. Like, damn. Anyway, somebody's ancestors does want them to check out their heritage, their gene genealogy. Your family's ancestry is going to, it, it literally says it can reveal fascinating connections to your identity. That's that missing link. It's passed down. It says, keep preserving your culture and traditions which have been passed down for generations as a valuable legacy. So you come from a line, I'm hearing a powerful pastors and prophetess. Prophets and prophetess. Pastors and priestess. Or priests and priestess or whatever the case may be. And it's been like a family reunion that's going on. And again, some of y'all, somebody could be like, mm. I don't want to speak on that, but understand that people were kind of like, I'm hearing like somebody could have been going through a lot of losses in their family spirit guys. 
We're finna go into a major change, spirit guides. I gotta believe it. But many times, spirit guides. Because it's even given to, I know sometimes it be like initiation and rituals and all that. And when people in the industry be losing their family members and stuff. And they be all like, oh, sacrifices and stuff, which I believe too. But a lot of times, I be thinking too, protection too. You going into that industry, it's so many snakes. It's so many. And not, because I don't know why I'm picking up on that for somebody. So somebody could already be in the industry or you're meant to. Or you just going towards some type of energy of just success in general where you're going to need extra protection and I'm feeling like because now my ears are ringing with honors literally you're graduating a certain level and this next level that you're going through new levels new devils and I'm hearing like your spirit guys like back so the people that's going to be on the other side protecting you are the ones who have been assigned they've taken that position I'm hearing it was by free will in the spiritual realm where they were like okay I'm assigned to protect this person up until a certain point on earth and then I'm going to the other side and protect them because I know they're going to this new teach so somebody could be a teacher here or you're going to a new level you or you could be literally graduating school. Somebody could have been in school to teach, or you were a teacher again with celebrations here. So it's like I'm mean, getting like graduation. Somebody just graduated, but you're gonna be celebrated. And it's gonna be like a get together for you. I'm even getting like in the spiritual realm because of this work that you've been putting in, because of everything that you you're getting out of this. You've listened. I'm here. You did it by the book, but also you did it your own way. Like I was just saying, you followed all the rules all the way, but you followed your intuition. You followed the divine. You followed the advice of the divine. Something about somebody's cousin is significant. And it opened doors to new possibilities in your life. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I was feeling like with this repast energy. And I remember I said, I'm not gonna be speaking on that because I, I keep feeling like somebody's ancestor or somebody may not have passed over yet, but they're in transition stage. I heard they're in a transition phase. And um, you might want to say your goodbyes or something like that, but I'm getting like with this repast energy, like this is gonna be one of your spirit guys that they haven't passed over yet. I heard a grandma for somebody, um, but march on. This person could have marched before or. Something about you needed to be resilient. Keep going. Um, could be a father figure or somebody's uncle, I heard. Cousin. A grandma. What did I say, you guys? Grandma's kitchen. What did I say? It's a grandma for somebody. This person could have liked to, liked to cook a lot. And I feel like you could have had a very strong yeah, family reunion. You could have had a very, very strong uh, connection to this. Uh, mother figure, grandmother figure. Um motherly love yeah mother figure or grandma figure and she was somebody who had like a lot of like she could have been somebody who was very talkative or to her neighbors or like they she cared about like community you know like how most old folks is unlike the like younger folks who we just kind of keep to ourselves but she understood that so again someone she's telling you or for some of y'all your grandmother already could be on the other side she's telling you to talk less because somebody could be wanting to like lock uh, get you like in trouble, get you locked up, get you like she's telling somebody like to stop speaking around certain people. Oh wow, because it's somebody that it's like I feel like it's somebody in your energy that you can't trust, and she's gonna be showing this to you. I knew this card was on generational wealth. So, whatever it is you do for work with tradesmen here, whatever it is that you do with your hands for work, your craft. Generational wealth. Passing down wealth can build a legacy through investing in assets like property, stocks, and cash. Oof. Literally. That's why all that cards, those cards were coming out about wealth, prosperity, uh, money matters. Because that's what's going to be changing for you through this abundance. Oh, no, that's right, source. Let me pull one more out of this day. So somebody may need to go cook some black eyed peas for good luck. <laughs> Supposed to bring abundance and good fortune. So you feel me? So it's just like, you are the one who's going to break the, I'm here, you're breaking like the, the energy. What did I say when I first came on, you guys? Like the energy of lack. You are not going to resonate with that. And this is like survival's guilt. I promise you, survivor's guilt, excuse me, with generational wealth here. Mm. But you went through, you paid the price, you paid the cost. So it's like, now it's time for you to be rewarded. I did not say like, that was my last deck. I just get so into the reading sometimes, literally with the hierophant here. Because source has, you are the one that source has called for this. You are the one who source has chosen for this. You listen to your guidance. 
you are very you could be again like a spiritual healer a reiki healer a guru or a teacher of some sort people watch you or wow i didn't even know these cards was in there again so again somebody's a uh, grandpa it says grandpa's lesson so he could have even taught you something about how to get yourself back up again how to be resilient Especially when you're in situations where you're feeling like you're stuck and you can't. Somebody's grandfather played a big part in their life. Somebody's grandfather played a big significant role in their life. And he's remember, he's you could feel like you're coming upon hard times or it was some type of hard times that you were going through and your grandpa or your grandfather was with you through that. So that's confirmation for somebody. We got Taurus energy here. Oof. We got Gemini energy here. And he was helping you to combat some type of like conflict. The high priestess, the emperor, Aries energy here. Pisces, Cancer. And I feel like whoever you are, your intuition is leading you straight to where you need to be. And you could have even been resisting this at one point or fighting this or afraid to actually go towards this. A little indecisive at a stalemate. Especially if you were wondering if something was for you, if something was going to be a good investment. I do feel like it is. I do feel like it is. I do. The full card out here. Take this next leap of faith, the lovers. And this could even be in love for somebody that's watching here. Because now my, my energy just switched up. I'm all soft. And somebody could be like bringing out your feminine side, your softer side. Or you bring out this person's softer side. Somebody's color. Somebody like pink. Somebody may like red. But whoever you are, take this leap of faith. The lovers here. In whatever way, shape, or form this may show up for you. It's, it's for you. It's a perfect fit, right? As you leave behind, page of swords again, these people who were in lack, people who are still in lack, they're going to be in the same place, doing the same things, thinking the same things, act, acting the same way, eating the same things, drinking the same shit, singing the same shit, smelling the same, walking the same, talking the same. And that's why it's like, ain't no point of having survivor's guilt, baby. Eight of wands. Ain't no point of having survivor's guilt. You move forward. When swords give you opportunity to move forward, what you do with it? So some of y'all finna have some type of communication coming in from a lover too. That may surprise you. This could be somebody that you've walked away from. Hmm. I don't know why I feel like. Let me reshuffle that. Oh, let me see. Three, three, three. Literally. Somebody's hoping that they could collaborate with you in the future, but this is very hidden. But this person comes with very chaotic energy or something like that, or something that they're coming with, or something that they, their life could be very chaotic. They could have some type of truth that they finna drop on you. She dropped the bomb on me, baby. Anyways, so somebody's gonna drop something. I don't know. The three, 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 something that's coming into alignment, though. So how's it going? But I don't know why I'm kind of getting like a... Okay. I was a little scared. I was a little, it was a little bit of reasonable doubt. Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, okay. Okay, spirit. Okay. And it's kind of... Uh, my hand just literally flipped this car all the way over here. So, something about generational wealth again. Like, sources like, yeah. And again, it could come through something that you do for work, through your way of expression or some type of opportunity. Somebody could want to give you opportunity for work with that energy. I mean, that car that was talking about a company or something. You're going to accumulate. Again, remember, I said everybody's going to benefit. I promise you. Three of Pentacles, three of Wands, three of Cups. Somebody's feeling like it could be up to three people who want to like work together with you on something or like see you as somebody that they would want to collaborate with. Again, like this Queen of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. You're attracting a lot of attention. And it's giving like, damn, somebody could need to play the lottery, the Wheel of Fortune, literally. There's numbers on here. Somebody could like to go to the arcade or something like that. But I'm giving it, baby, it's your time to win with the Ace of Pentacles. You're coming into this energy of abundance and generational wealth. could be a fire sign or have fire in your chart but so far we only had we only had that queen of pentacles energy and that queen of wands come out she liked the ten of pentacles again i can't make it up you guys you think i just talked to talk i walked the walk no nah. <laughs> so it's the pentacles ten of pentacles it is nothing but generational wealth long term longevity lucrative investments and increases coming your way 
I'm going to stop there. The six of wands because victory is just yours. Victory is yours. It's already done. A lot of attention is going to be on you as it should because it's rightfully yours. Again, with this ten of cups, the mermaid showing her face again because you've adapted to swim in the waters and walk on land. You are the mermaid. Okay? So you, I'm seeing you reach new heights. I'm seeing you go towards this success. Again, as this empress, as you step into this new womanhood, this new, like, almost like coming into your own type of energy, right? Ten of Cups, Empress. You could be a mother, but again, people seeing this success, people seeing this level up on you. Queen of Wands, Empress, like, and you look damn good. Like, you look like, I'm hearing you look like money with the Wheel of Fortune. You look like fortune, good fortune, good karma. It's all coming in at once. So I'm going to stop the reading there with strength card. What did I say again? You healed yourself through natural elements. You were innocent. You used nature, natural remedies. So you wasn't out here trying to hurt people, harm people, hex people. You just were resilient when it came to your fortune, your future, your plenty, your promise. And you, you started small for some of y'all with the strength and the page of pentacles, but it grew to something much bigger with that ace of pentacles, ten of pentacles. So I am going to stop the reading there. I feel like now is your time to shine. Leave that survivor's guilt behind. Leave any type of doubt or fear behind. This will of fortune has shown its face multiple times. So it's like with the ace of pentacles, ten of pentacles, walk by faith and not by sight is what I'm hearing. Literally, leave this devil-like energy or these lower vibrational energies, codependent energies, fears, toxic ways and habits and thinking and mentality. It's time to leave that behind as you go through this rebirth, Capricorn energy. Okay? So, I love you guys so much. I truly, truly hope this reading helped you. I hope it gave you some type of light as you are the light. So, be the light that you wish to see in the world so that you could spark somebody else to go out there and, and inspire others to be themselves authentically and freely to level up their lives, right? Because nothing more that you can be that's more amazing in this world than a light to somebody else. So, if this reading resonated with you, drop some comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys so much.